You wanna have an all weekend gaming marathon? Oh yeah, I got an invention for that. And welcome back to Unnecessary Invention. So today I'm really excited about building a brand new Unnecessary Invention, and that is because this video is sponsored by Call of Duty. The brand new Call of Duty Modern Warfare Open Multiplayer Beta is just around the corner, and they reached out and they wanted something to help you game all weekend long. And since the early access begins today, Thursday, September 12th, exclusively on the PS4, I thought it was the perfect time to kick things off and build the ultimate all-in-one utility controller. So essentially, you'll have your controller with everything that you could possibly need for an entire weekend and just play Call of Duty and do absolutely nothing else. So without wasting any more time, let's kick things off and get into the design of it. So my first thoughts for the inspiration of this design is to base it off of one of those pocket utility knives that has the arms that all fold out, that have everything you need all right in one easy package. So basically what we need to do is create a bracket that attaches to your controller, something right in the middle I think. We're gonna have to avoid all the buttons and then it's gonna come out and then somehow have a bunch of different arms that either pivot or swivel in that just have everything you need to just completely game all weekend long. So let's take that idea and sketch it out and see how it looks. So we're gonna have the controller. So the first thing we need is that bracket that goes up and around the middle of the controller. From there, I think we're gonna have a rod that extends out from the controller and then that is where all of the arms are gonna attach. So then the arms will be stacked on top of each other and each one will have a different essential item you need to game for the entire weekend. All right, let's figure out what those essentials are. With that design, I think we're gonna be able to fit four arms on each side of the controller. So that'll give us a total of eight different items that we have to game all weekend. So the very first thing is I don't want anyone calling me, texting me, distracting me from my gaming, so I want a smartphone lockbox. Then I'm gonna need to make sure I have food and water, so a cup holder, and why not a beef jerky dispenser? So I think hygiene also might be a little bit important if you're not gonna leave your couch all weekend. So maybe a toothbrush that comes off of the arm and a deodorant stick if you aren't going to be taking any showers. Things definitely might also get a little bit tense in the game. So maybe a fan that's electric and it's blowing on you to keep you cool and also keep your hands from sweating up too much. And since both of your hands are gonna be occupied, why not have an extra finger maybe to reach for something, tap for something, tell someone to be quiet that will be perfect and lastly I think it's very important you want to make sure you check your surroundings so a nice reader view mirror so you can check out what's going on around you check yourself out all that good stuff so those are the eight arms that I think I'm gonna work with if we end up having room for something else we'll brainstorm again and try and figure out where we might be able to put it on so first things first let's design the bracket that is gonna go onto the controller and then from there we'll work on the arms onto the computer so this PlayStation controller does have a few different curves and angles, so it might be a little bit of tinkering to get the final design that I want. We gotta make sure we avoid the buttons and the port there so that you can still use it while you have your all-in-one utility accessories attached for your weekend of gaming. So let's go ahead and dive into Fusion 360 and start designing what we think it might look like. Okay, so for the design, I want it to be something that's gonna be simple, but also complements the design of the controller and just fits very snug and modern and clean with the whole thing. So I'm gonna try and match a bunch of the angles that I see in the controller after I've taken a few measurements. And then from there, I'm gonna test print a few and see how it works. And this is our first rough draft of the design. So basically, here's the part that's gonna connect to the bottom of the controller, and it's gonna go up and around and attach to the top of the controller right here. I think I'm going to go ahead and just test print a very small portion of this and see if it snaps onto the controller well. And if it does, then we're in luck. But if not, then we'll have to tinker around a little bit. So here is our first test piece that I 3D printed. I did it in red so that I could really see what it looks like. We'll see if this snaps onto the controller. Oh, it's not too bad. So see, it attaches here. Only thing I didn't do is I haven't really cut out the holes in the sections for here so that the buttons aren't being hit and everything like that. But not too bad for our first attempt. I think it could probably be a little bit tighter in a few places. We got a little bit of a gap here. Other than that, I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna play around with the design real quick and test print a few more. 
I'll see you in a second. And this is the beauty of 3D printing. I ended up testing out a whole bunch of different sizes, different shapes. Some did not fare very well, but different ideas that I thought might work better, and I came up with the final design. So here's the bracket design in the full width that I was gonna go with. I also added the holes for the button and the ports in the bottom. I think I might change that up a little bit, because when I was putting it on, these parts that were super thin were a little bit weak and I don't want it to break. So I might maybe chop it down a little bit lower so that it has a little bit more durability to it. But I think this is the design we should go for. So from this design, we're gonna have a rod that then extends out and then we'll have the four arms that all go out from there. Pew, 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 pew. And back to work. So I think the arms should all have a uniform size to them so that up until the accessory is added, they're all the same. So when we stack them inside the bracket, they all fit properly and then splay out from there. So let's go ahead and design the first one. So I think for this, I'm gonna start with the beef jerky holder and we'll figure out exactly what size kind of works best. I think if they're about one inch by just under a half inch long, and then three inches long, that'll give us just enough space so that they're able to move around and not bump into each other. And then they'll each have a hole right in the middle, that way that we can have a rod that goes through them all, and that's where they'll pivot around on the bracket itself. So then for the beef jerky part, at the end of the arm, we'll add the accessory of where those four different beef jerky sticks will sit. So the beef jerky will always be right there on hand, right at the end of your controller. I think that's what I'm gonna go with for the general idea for each of the arms. So I'm gonna go hit my computer and I'm gonna quickly design all of the other accessories off camera and then we'll go through them all and I'll show you exactly what we're gonna be 3D printing before we put everything together for the ultimate all weekend controller. See you in a second. And I am back. So here, let's go through all of the designs that I came up with and then we'll hit the 3D printer. So the beef jerky stick, we went through that already. Then here, we're gonna have the rear view mirror. So basically, this is gonna be the arm and then the mirror itself is gonna attach to that part down there and that part will sit and pivot on that ball. So next, we have the toothbrush holder and that cap will have a toothbrush attached to the inside of it and you'll be able to pull that cap off, brush your teeth and have a minty fresh smile. Next, it's pretty straightforward, a cup holder for everything that you need. And this is the bracket that I'm gonna use for the fan. I made this cool off spoon a while ago, and so I'm gonna use that electric fan, and we're gonna hide the components down in the bottom of here. And then you'll be able to turn the fan on and let the wind blow. Next is the deodorant stick, so I'm gonna buy some deodorant, and you'll be able to crank up the deodorant without having to take a shower all weekend. This one here is the smartphone jail. You'll be able to take the cover off, put your smartphone in there, put the cover on, lock it up, and you will have no access to your phone and you won't have to answer any email, any messages, any phone calls that come through. I might just need that on a regular daily basis. And this one right here is going to be the shushing finger. So I'm actually gonna take a mold of my own finger and attach it to the end of there. I just realized that I didn't show you guys the mounting bracket that I designed. So here is the final version of the mounting bracket that has the rod extending out from the controller. And then from there, this is going to attach to it. And I thought of one more accessory we can add. We're gonna have this and pour another silicone bumper on top of here, and that's gonna be a flip up chin rest for when you get a little tired and you just want a quick little snooze, but you're not falling asleep, you're just getting a little shut eye. And then all of the arms will attach onto there. So I'm gonna 3D print all of the parts that I just showed you, because I know that it's gonna take a little bit of time, but once we have all the pieces, I'll go ahead, lay them out, and show them to you in all their glory. And I am really excited to see all of these parts come to life and what they actually look like all stacked on top of each other. Off to the 3D printer. And just like that, we have all of our 3D printed parts we need to put this together. So there are a few things we need to do to a couple of these arms before we start assembling the final product. And that would include getting the deodorant onto the deodorant stick. We need to make a cast of my finger and pour some silicone for this guy. 
we need to attach the mirror to this end, and then we need to also add the toothbrush to the end of here. So let us get to work and do those things really quick. Ugh. This one should be a piece of cake. And we have ourselves a toothbrush. Next, I'm going to take this deodorant stick that I got, and I'm going to cut it down to size so that it fits right into here. And now we have the deodorant stick finished up. That looks pretty good. And now we have ourselves a little rear view mirror and the tools we need, silicone and two cups. Mix ourselves some equal parts A and equal parts B. And for things to match a little bit, I'm gonna add some blue pigment. So the mold I made has these little indents that so will have nice little round bumps on the top. So it is extra comfortable when you're resting your chin on it. How do you like that replica of my finger? Pretty spot on, I would have to say. And also very creepy looking at the same time. So I'm gonna put this all together and let's see how it looks on the controller itself. So I got all of the parts onto the mounting bracket here and I have to admit, everything together looks so amazing. Are you ready? Would you just look at all of those accessories? We got the rear view mirror that you can adjust. We got some beef jerky, because everybody needs a snack when they're gaming. We got the toothbrush that comes off. Brush your teeth, put it back on when you're done. The iPhone lockbox, nobody's getting in touch with us. Don't forget about the fan. The additional little finger for whatever you might want to use it for. And we have our deodorant stick over here. And on the far side, we have our cup holder. And lastly, we have the flip up chin rest. So you can take a little nap. So let's get this masterpiece onto the controller itself and put it to the test in the real world. And are all of the clips. I think it's official and safe to say that this is one of my favorite and most ridiculous builds that I have done to date. It is just so insanely absurd and amazing and ridiculous, everything all at the same time. And as I do with every one of my inventions, be sure to go over to Instagram and check out the official product photos. And I'm going to have to rate this invention 10 Call of Duty Modern Warfares out of 10. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a big fat thumbs up. And if you would like to see more completely unnecessary inventions come to life, smash the subscribe button. And with that, you probably won't see anything from me this weekend, cause I'll be gaming, but I will see you at the next invention. See ya.